This is Akashwani, the news read by Narang Koyang. Overall, more than 40% of voter turnout has been recorded in the fourth phase of Lok Sabha polls till 1 p.m. 96 parliamentary constituencies spread over nine states and one union territory are being covered in the fourth phase. This include 25 seats in Andhra Pradesh, 17 in Telangana, 13 in Uttar Pradesh, 11 in Maharashtra, 8 seats each in Madhya Pradesh and West Bengal, 5 in Bihar, 4 seats in Jharkhand and Odisha, along with 1 seat of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Voting started at 7 this morning and will conclude at 6 in the evening. The Election Commission said polling time is certain assembly segments of 17 parliamentary constituencies of Telangana has been extended to enhance voter participation. Our correspondents touring different constituencies report long queues of voters are being seen at different polling booths. Special enthusiasm is being seen among youth and women voters. A total of 1,717 candidates are in the fray for the port base. Some of the prominent candidates whose political fate is being sealed in the EVMs today include BJP leaders Giriraj Singh, Arjun Munda, G. Kishan Reddy, Ajay Kumar Mishra and JDU's Rajiv Ranjan Singh, Akhilesh Yadav of Samajwadi Party, Congress leader Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, Mahua Moitra and Satrugan Sinha from Trinamool Congress and Asaduddin OAC of IMEM. Over 19 lakh polling officials have been deployed across 1,92,000 polling stations. Nearly 18 crore voters are eligible to exercise their franchise in this space. The Election Commission has made all arrangements for the smooth conduct of polling. Facilities like water, sheds, ramps, volunteers and wheelchairs are available at the polling stations. So far, in the last three paces, polling has concluded smoothly in 283 parliamentary constituencies and 20 states and union territories. Besides, the voting is also underway for single pace assembly elections in Andhra Pradesh for 175 seats and first pace of assembly of polls for 21 seats of Odisha today. Campaigning is in full swing for the remaining three paces of Lok Sabha elections. Senior political leaders are crisscrossing the states to hold public meetings and road shows to garner support for their parties. Prime Minister and Senior BJP Leader Narendra Modi is holding multiple rallies in Bihar today. He addressed a public meeting in Hajipur and Mujafarpur. He called upon the people of the state to cast a vote for the development of the country. He alleged that RJD and Congress will never work for the welfare of the people as they are busy in amassing wealth for their next generation. He said under the NDA government, Indian economy is growing and more employment opportunities are being created. Earlier in the day, Mr. Modi visited Takat Sri Harimandir Ji Patna Sahib in Patna City. Takat Sri Patna Sahib, also known as Takat Sri Harimandir Ji Patna Sahib, is one of the five Takats of the Sikh community. In the evening, Prime Minister Modi is scheduled to hold a mega roadshow at Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. Mr. Modi will be filing his nomination papers from his Varanasi Lok Sabha seat tomorrow. Senior Congress leader Rahul Gandhi addressed a public meeting at Rai Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh. He promised that if Congress India bloc comes to power at the center, then its first job will be to waive off loans of poor farmers. Information and Broadcasting Minister and BJP leader Anurag Singh Thakur filed his nomination papers from Hamirpur Parliamentary Constituency in Himachal Pradesh today. He was accompanied by senior BJP leader and former Chief Minister Professor Prem Kumar Dumal. Mr. Thakur won the election from this parliamentary constituency four times in a row and is now contesting from the seat for the fifth time. BJP candidate from Shimla constituency and sitting MP Suresh Kashyap also filed his nomination papers today. Congress candidate Vinod Sultanpuri also submitted papers from his seat. Supreme Court today refused to grant interim bail to former Jharkhand Chief Minister Heman Soren in connection with the money laundering case linked to an alleged land scheme, citing recent release of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal from jail as an example. Mr. Soren saw interim bail to campaign for his party Jharkhand Mukti Morcha in the ongoing Lok Sabha elections. The Central Board of Secondary Education, CBSE, today declared the results of Class 10 and 12 board examination in which girls have outshined boys. In a statement, CBSE said 87.98% students have passed the Class 12 board exams. The passing percentage is 0.65% higher than last year. Over 24,000 candidates have scored more than 95% and over 1,16,000 students got above 90% in this examination. 
In IPL cricket, Gujarat Titans will lock horns with Kolkata Knight Riders at Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad, this evening at 7.30 p.m. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.